At the start of the pandemic, many people wondered if using mouthwash might help wash away the virus before it could infect you. Now, back then, our Dr. Frank McGeorge said there was no evidence to suggest that it could, but now new research suggests mouthwash might have another use. And Dr. Frank McGeorge, back to explain, Doc. Well, you know, Devin and Kim, COVID-19 primarily spreads through infected droplets and aerosols that are either coughed, sneezed, or exhaled. We also know, especially at the start of an infection, most of those infected droplets come from the upper respiratory tract, like the nose, mouth, and throat. Well, now research suggests it might be possible to kill the virus there, reducing their ability to spread it. The idea of reducing the amount of infectious material from the upper respiratory tract and mouth isn't new. In fact, the American Dental Association has recommended the use of a 1.5% hydrogen peroxide mouth rinse before dental procedures, even without definitive data to support the recommendation. The CDC also acknowledges the lack of published information and simply states that a pre-procedural mouth rinse may reduce the level of oral microorganisms. A new paper by researchers at the Penn State College of Medicine, published in the Journal of Medical Virology, found certain oral antiseptics and mouthwashes have the ability to kill human coronaviruses, suggesting these products could reduce the amount of virus in the mouth or throat, reducing the spread of infection. Some of the products tested were diluted hydrogen peroxide. Several mouthwashes, including Listerine, Walmart's Equate, and CVS brand, as well as Betadine. Although these researchers didn't test the antiseptics against SARS-CoV-2 specifically, their findings support other research previously published in the Journal of Infectious Diseases that found similar antiseptics were effective when tested against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. It's important to note that these studies only show the virus can be inactivated by the mouth rinses. Further studies are underway to test the effect in patients who are infected with COVID-19. Now, while we wait for a vaccine, this may be another simple and promising way to decrease the amount of virus that an infected person might emit. Although it is important to note, mouthwashes or gargles are clearly not a substitute for masks or any other proven ways to reduce spread like distancing. Right, of course. Well, has anybody looked at nasal sprays or things that might work in the nose? Yeah, so these researchers actually looked at the effectiveness of the standard salt water mix that's used in a neti pot to irrigate the nose and sinuses, as well as a super diluted baby shampoo. It turns out the salt water had absolutely no effect, but the diluted baby shampoo actually did work. The only thing is I have read other reports that diluted baby shampoo as a sinus rinse is actually pretty unpleasant to use. Yeah, I'd imagine. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, we appreciate it.